Just ahead of New Channel 13, live at 11, new information on the Albany standoff. Police had to deal with a man on a rooftop who said he had a bomb. Also, a judge turns the tables on former Tyson trainer Kevin Rooney. Live at 11, coming up next. WGY Radio celebrated 75 years on the air tonight with a live radio drama. Jay Bobbin was there and his report is coming up. We'll also tell you about a former area politician in trouble with the law. It's all just seconds away. This is the Capital Region's number one late news. News Channel 13, live at 11. Tonight's top story, the man who shut down Albany has a history. Victor Bruno has reportedly been in trouble before. Good evening, I'm Ed Day. And I'm Chris Capistanchi. For two tense hours, police thought Victor Bruno had a bomb. Negotiators were finally able to talk him down from his perch 21 stories above North Pearl Street. Bill Lambton is there now with new information on this story. Bill? Well, Chris and Ed, it appears this is the latest in a series of police confrontations involving Victor Bruno. Print reports and videotape from other cities show incidents like today's. Each time the police go easy because the man is assessed with psychiatric problems. It's the center of downtown Albany and for two hours traffic stopped, businesses evacuated and people gawked as 32-year-old Victor Bruno stood atop this 21-story office building. A deaf mute who first confused police by claiming falsely to be Arab, Bruno wore what appeared to be a bomb. We had a, a plan ready, if need be, to do what we had to do. But police were in no rush to force the situation. Instead, negotiators Michael Connell and John Grogan tried to communicate. It is training, and it's, it's a little bit more than that. I mean, it's not just my job uh, and, or Jack's job. We do care, uh, obviously, because uh, we put ourselves in a position where harm can come to us or other officers. When I observed uh, Officer Connell, he was on the ledge right five feet from this gentleman, talking to him. Two hours after the standoff began, Bruno backed down. Police found that the possible bomb was merely a box of checks wrapped in papers. Bruno was driven to the Capitol District Psychiatric Center for evaluation. Although they're pleased the confrontation diffused peacefully, police are not getting specific. And I very possibly might have to negotiate with this individual again. And that is the big problem here. Police confirm that Bruno has had multiple confrontations with them in other areas. Each time, he is processed through the revolving door that can be modern psychiatric care. You have to wonder if he goes through it again and gets out, will there be another confrontation? And will it continue nonviolent? Or could he be a harm to himself or others? And then what would people say thinking back, thinking back to his history? Chris? And there's also perhaps a lesser question, but a question on the less of cost, certainly not just police costs, but cost to the businesses that had to come to a halt today. Well, obviously people want to be very sympathetic to people with mental problems, and that appears to be what we have here. But if he were robbing banks, each time you rob a bank, in theory, you get an increased penalty. That doesn't seem to be happening with this situation. It is a sad and puzzling dilemma. Thank you very much, Bill. In a stunning reversal today, a federal judge has thrown out a court settlement against boxer Mike Tyson. Last fall, a jury awarded former Tyson trainer Kevin Rooney millions of dollars. Comey Tucker spoke to Rooney today. She joins us now live from the newsroom. Comey. Kevin Rooney calls the decision a body blow, and losing more than $4 million would be enough to make anyone wince. But Rooney says the fight isn't over. I spoke to my lawyer, and he informed me that the judge is... Uh, He's made a mistake. He's thrown it out on a, on a, on basically a technicality. A setback for Kevin Rooney, who says that Mike Tyson owes him millions of dollars. Last September, a jury returned a $4.4 million award against Tyson for unjustly firing Rooney. But U.S. District Court Judge Thomas McAvoy has thrown out that award, saying that Rooney failed to prove he had a contractual agreement with Tyson. Rooney sees this as just another round in his eight-year-long legal bout. I just got hit a body blow. The judge just hit us a body blow. He gave us a little, a little left hook, short, sharp left hook to the body. And, you know, I, I bent a little bit. But now, you know, I'm regaining my composure. Others in Catskill thought the judge's decision was unfair. I think, I think he, 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 Tyson lost track of his uh, uh, whole career when he left uh, Kevin Rooney. The decision was made, you know, left into the hands of the jury. And they made a decision based on what they heard or saw. And now all of a sudden a judge can turn around and change that, you know, it's a, what is the sense of having a jury then? As for Rooney, he's up, he's mad, and he's fighting. 
Bernie hopes that the ruling will be overturned on appeal. Tyson's lawyer said the ruling was a just one and that the boxer never had a contract with Rooney. Ed? Your first encounter with Kevin Rooney? It was, it was indeed. And he, he, certainly, a character, isn't he? he certainly had a lot to say. He expressed himself with a lot of energy. <laughs> Thank you. Kumi Tucker live in the newsroom. For the latest now with local police and fire departments are working on at this instant, Kristen Bensley in the News Channel 13 Operations Center. Kristen. Thanks, Ed. Green Island is having a problem with its phone service tonight. Apparently, some calls are not going through. If you have an, an emergency, you can call the Water Valite Police. And a man has been arrested tonight for allegedly having sexual contact with a minor. State police have charged 34-year-old George Walker of Troy with sexual abuse, endangering the welfare of a child, and possession of marijuana. Police say the incident happened this past December.